very, very simple. Number one, selflessness. First Kings, First Kings chapter 20, 19, sorry, verse 10. I'll give a background story to this that I'm teaching. And you might probably see why the enemy would not like you to hear these things tonight. I learned in my undergraduate days that it does not take a great man of God for revival to come. It takes one yielded vessel for revival to break out. Did you hear what I just said? You're here, you're in a campus, whether it's secondary school or university. Get ready because God is going to use you. I didn't say your pastor. He will use who? He will use you. So prepare to install this capacity. See them as great. See them as courses you must learn and pass. See them as certificates you must have as you journey in the ranks. Hallelujah. I love to be heavily ranked in this army. Because the more ranked you are, the more you can do in little time. You get what I just said? Are you following? That's why I like to be ranked. Yes, there's coffee in the state. But if you have a soldier following you, you are fine. Yes or no? There are things other people will go through you won't go through just because you are ranked. There are instructions other people will give and there will be delay in execution. But it will happen to you because you are what? Ranked. As you rise in the rank in any field, your capacity to do work increases with it. That's why as a believer, desire to rise what? Ranks. And thank God, rank is not according to age. Or else they would have stopped some of us. Thank God, once you fulfill the requirements, you will be promoted. Thank God it's not by popularity. Thank God it's not by many of the indices we think. By all means, desire to rise in the ranks. Now let's focus. Selflessness. First Kings 19.10, Elijah was speaking. God was asking a question. And he declared, I'll be very what? Zealous for the Lord. Are you there? Are you giving it to us or not? Who is there? One, two, go. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the Lord of hosts, have forsaken thy covenant ahead, ahead, with the sword, and I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And this was a burden that Elijah had in his own days. And it was a selfless burden. So very simple. You know your way to the spirit by how many things you think about that worry you that is not just about yourself. If it was just about Elijah eating and drinking and sleeping and waking up, he could do that without all this wahala, right? Are you following? I mean, if you remember, there were 7,000 of his kind inside cave. Eating and drinking, yes or no? But he chose to put his life on the line to ensure that the name of God was glorified in his own time. That's a burden, and it's a selfless burden. Is that clear? So begin to gauge your life, gauge your heart, check and see the things that are inside. What drives you to pray the most? And you might not arrive at this place in 24 hours, but if you start the journey tonight, you eventually get there. Are you following? Your heart might not have been right when you started praying. Some people say, my heart is not right. That's why I'm not praying. That's why I'm not seeking God. I'm not just fine. I don't really love God. That's not the issue. The fire purifies you. You start coming and the fire will what? Purify you. 